guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Marky Mayhem. Thanks for joining me today. Um, so we have a guest today, the infamous April. My mother is here to join me and we're going to talk about the Bachelorette today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, uh, we also have my dog too, Mango Mayhem, but, um, oh, well, you can probably kind of see her. Anyways, we're going to get into this tea because this episode had its juicy parts. Not all the way, but... Some parts were juicy. Some parts. Okay, so my, my first note was, yes, Kenny, whoop his beep. Because this was the part where, as we all know, the episode started off with Demario coming back, trying to weasel his way, Spider-Man back into the house. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about that? Uh, that was dreadful. Like, why? First off, yeah, yeah first off, you got busted. The tea was spilled. It was, it was spilled. <laughs> When yeah. Alexa came with no. receipts. She had, yes, all the receipts. They were here. Shut it down. Bye-bye now. Yeah, and then I said, you ain't floored, sis. I thought it was funny because I feel like they kind of probably told Rachel that he was going to come back. They did. Like, it wasn't it's, a complete surprise to no. her. No, you got to remember, this is kind of sort of scripted. A little bit. They want, they want to keep the viewers interested. Mm -hmm. Come on. Be interested in us. Like, Demario's here. He wants to talk. She's like, what? Oh, no. She knew. So I just thought that was kind of funny because it's her. a little bit of a joke mm -hmm. when they do that. But that was good because she was able to prepare what she was going to say to him. Oh, because Rachel read, read him, him like a tawdry, tawdry novel. novel. In the yes. words of my old theater teacher, <laughs> yes. tawdry novel. Yes. She read him his rights and I was yeah. here for it. And mm -hmm. then I also said the handshake when he was like, hi, Rachel, how are you? I just really want to be like sentimental and come and talk to you. And I'm like... He should have came that way. I mean, true. Yeah, because what was, was he going to do? Me. It was fake, but he was trying to get in. So kudos to him for looking stupid <laughs> because he did. He did look yeah. real stupid. Caught off guard, sweetheart. What? Like he was saying that he caught up, got caught off guard with Lexi. Like you should have known some drama was going to arise because you had a whole girlfriend, not a half a girlfriend, a whole girlfriend at home. Like there and, was nothing to be surprised okay, about. Okay, but everybody's tuning in to... This show. So did she? Did he think so he wasn't gonna see it? He didn't Eventually. care. He did not care. Mm. He wanted to be on TV. He didn't care. Mm -mm. And then he said he wanted a rose. I said a rose, baby. No. But I'm sure she's gonna take him back. No, not Demario. The no. girlfriend. Oh, the ooh. You're talking about Lexi. Uh, yeah. So you think Lexi said? Oh, oh, absolutely. Oh, sure. She's gonna take him back. They're together now. Yep. Can somebody check that? Can we like search on Demario's Instagram and like see if he's back with Lexi? Because we would really like to know. Yeah. And then I just thought it was really funny that all the guys were like crowding outside and they were like, shh, shh, be quiet. Let me hear, let me hear. Trying to get all the tea, being up all in the business. And all the guys were like, I can fight, I'll fight him. Like, this is so serious. Okay, but have everybody forgotten this is a contest? Right, it's a like, contest for the heart. Why are you being so cool with each other? Right, they were like, I mean, Let's no, no, the no drama. I'm not for the drama, but you guys are going for one girl. One. Like, we are not best buds. At this point. Yeah, that's how some no, people were acting. That's kinda weird to me. Um, yeah, so that whole that whole scene was just yeah. It was just a little bit much for us personally. Yeah. But the contour was on point. It was. It was really pretty. It was really great. The, it like was. if you guys peeped it, like when she was giving those side angle shots, was I was like, really Yes, nice. Rachel, you gotta come through with that contour. Yes. So her makeup artist, kudos. Yeah. Ooh. I feel like they do a good job mm -hmm. every episode. Mm -hmm. And okay, so you wanna talk about Jonathan, the one that came out with the hands. Oh like, my god. I can't I cannot. <laughs> she thought that was like really weird. I yeah, mean no. If a guy did that to me, came out with those hands no. thing, I wouldn't think it was as funny as Rachel thought it was. I would I think it was just a touch creepy. I don't really think she thought it was funny. I, I think that she was, was her. Yeah, but that was her way of not knowing what to do because that was totally unexpected. That was just that's, really. You know, Jonathan, the one, his yeah, occupation is he's a tickle uh, I don't, master. Yeah, that right there would have. He, I think I know. Oh, Jonathan's got to go. Yeah, he's got to go. I think go. he's just kind of weird in general. He like, needs to go. And then. Can we just talk about Rachel in general when it comes to wine? Every <laughs> time there is alcohol involved, Rachel gets that like that glaze over the eyes. The speech, it doesn't get slurred, but like no. you can hear yeah. in the cadence that yeah. 
She's a little lit. What did I say in the beginning when you asked me the question? I said, it's the what? what? The alcohol. I said, if she could tone it down a notch. She loves wine. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. Though. I'm not mad at it, but there's a, a level that she needs to be on so she can clearly focus on. So you don't think she's focused when no, she's drinking that wine? No, mm -hmm. no, it does things to you. Mm -hmm. Rachel. Mm -hmm. You hear this, Rach? Mm -hmm. Might want to slow up on that. Yeah. yeah, put some <laughs> put some Sprite and pretend. Mm -mm. It's a show. Oh, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. The lake, the lake, the Lucas and Blake. That's their that's their ship name, Lucas and Blake. Uh, lake. Uh, that was a mess and the weirdest argument that I have <laughs> ever seen in my life. Like, first of all, the whole situation. Let's bring it back to when Lucas was talking to Rachel, saying that Blake was over him in his sleep eating a banana. Mm -hmm. If you follow at Marky Mayhem, I made a beautiful meme that described the situation perfectly. If you want to see that on my Twitter, it's really funny and it's been retweeted like 30 times now. Not to toot my own home. That was insane. That, that was so insane. There's no way possible that I would have ever heard him out. Mm -hmm. Through the whole thing. Yeah. Stop. Because that was insane. I, I didn't appreciate him doing that. And I hated that she listened to it. Yeah. Like, he straight said, he stood over my bed and ate. And she's like, he he ate a banana over your bed? Like, Yeah, what? she participated in this she, clown. I, mean, I feel like she does that a lot with the guys. He's a real clown. Like, they kept him there for this type of drama. Absolutely. What we're talking about. We can about talk now. about it. Exactly. And that's all well and fine, but I'm glad he's gone. I hate that Blake let him I shake. Hate, oh my Lucas god! Shook Blake to the core, and yeah, he could not did. let it go. Like literally, every time he Blake focus. had his camera time, it was all about Lucas. It, it, all about Lucas. He got right in where he fit in, and he bit it. Mm -hmm. And re bye bye now. To be honest, when Blake, um, when Rachel was talking to Blake, and she was asking him about it, the fact that he said that. First of all, I wouldn't be standing over his bed eating a banana because he's on a non what a car too much information. It was like he's on a non carbolic something this was fancy not word the time. diet, and I'm like, yeah, no. really, I don't really think she cares. Yeah, and she didn't have to tell us about your diet regimen so no. that she couldn't eat banana. No. And what did I say? He's out the door. She's gonna get rid of both of them. Oh, man, he was so. And mad. she did exactly that. She did exactly that. I don't know that. if you you probably never seen this because like you don't watch SpongeBob, but there's this new meme that's going around and it's basically what happened with Lucas and Blake when uh, Lucas was like it's about the world man and Blake is like it's about the world man I can't I, can't, I couldn't even participate in that I, that I, argument was a joke in itself yeah. I would have rather them fight but you know they can't do that on ABC but that would have been sad I'm glad they didn't fight and I'm glad they both were ejected yeah, because I was just over the rhetoric. It like yeah, that was too much. Filling up too much of our yeah, time. Yeah. So mm, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Just po pointed out in here that um, I don't think you know who he is, but you should. Brian, he's the chiropractor. Yeah. I said he looks sexy at the um, <laughs> at the <laughs> rose ceremony. He just looks he looks really good. You did, probably weren't paying attention because she was she plays her casino games <laughs> games while watching the show. <laughs> that is too much information. It's true. She does. Sorry. <laughs> Put her on, on the front street. Um, yeah, he looked really sexy at the rose ceremony. I and saw him. He was, he's a nice looking guy. Yeah, he's super cute. He's, he's super and cute. And then I just thought it was funny. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to talk about this because we haven't even hit the point in the episode where we're talking about Fred. But mm. at the rose... I know. We're getting there. Fred at the rose ceremony looked like he was about to like bust out into tears. Yeah. Because he was like this close. Yes. From going home and it was kind of sad let's talk about the group date when they went to ellen and ellen had them dancing for money oh my god first of all ellen is literally every person in america talking about like oh every season the bachelorette and the bachelor come on i say i'm not gonna watch but i do because you just you just can't help it and especially on this season because <laughs> Rachel's black, so I'm like, I, I'm here for this. I gotta support my sis. Yes. So, we're sure. here for it. Sure. But, the guys being on Ellen, dancing. Literally, Alex. Can we talk about Alex? 
He was dropping it low and picking oh that stuff. He said that was his first time dancing like yeah, that, but I, I feel like it. that's a lie. I do not he believe it. He was twerking oh with my one God. leg. Up. <laughs> he had his back popping like he was like on the twerk team, I and I was could really not confused. Him. <laughs> he could it go. wasn't even like Chippendale level. It no. was like he was literally a twerker. Yes, he was raunchy with it. He was grinding like, oh, I know what I'm doing. But I don't want anyone to know. I wonder, they didn't tell who got the most money, but I feel like Alex. No, he did. He did, did you do, see? Oh, Alex got the what? most money? Okay. He was loaded. Lo and I felt sorry for the one little guy. Jonathan. Yeah. Tickle Master. He was, he was like in the corner like, ha, ha, ha. And he had like $3 in his If pants. that. Oh, two? Yeah. Ooh, I think so. you're shady. He had at least $3. I don't think he's cute either. Mm, he's not. He's a little creepy looking. Yes. Sorry. Then, you know, like I said, Brian is really cute, but when Ellen brought up that um he the that she had already kissed somebody oh, and he was yeah. like, Oh yeah, it was a good kiss, but then he was like, Oh yeah, he got my sloppy seconds. First of all, why would you say that? Did anybody think that was a little weird? You thought that was weird. Yeah, was like, that was unnecessary. And Rachel kinda like laughed, but like in my head I'd be like, Did you just call me like sloppy? Obviously, Pretty you're much. on a game show. Yeah. She's gonna kiss multiple people. Right. Like I said, she's gotta kiss a lot of frogs to get to her prince. A lot. So I just thought that was a little bit shady. And I wonder about Brian. that as well. What? That's that's what? that's a, that's a lot. Kissing that many men. Oh my god. To Mom. get to no, that's a 20, lot. We're in the 21st century. That's a lot. I'm sorry. That's... You probably kissed a lot of people in your lifetime. No, I have not. How many have you? Kissed? I can count them on. These many right here, and I still have one left. Okay, okay. okay. I, I know I've kissed way more than one. Okay, well, no. I'm you you already know how I am. Did you pay attention when they were playing the um, I have have not game? Uh -huh. And there was one question where um, they Ellen asked who has thought about you know having intercourse with Rachel. Mm -hmm. And all but two said they have. And I'm just saying, that was cute that they said that because they were trying to probably seem gentlemanly. But yeah. like, I said they all want the kitty. Okay, but I appreciate that. Really, they do. But I appreciate the fact that they had... Just be honest. Say, yes, I want to rip Rachel's listen, clothes off. Uh, listen, I thought that was good. I, I would have preferred them say I would, no. I would, then to, yeah, no. I mean, come on. Let's give me something. Like, don't just make me out to be... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, we're moving on. And mm -hmm. then, did you see the part where Alex, he said that he did send um, nudes before, but he said they were classy nudes. So, what exactly is a classy nude? Like, is it well-lit lighting? Pretty much. the right angles? Yeah. The, it was... The you, meat is... It was there. No, you said it. Full. It's the right angles. The classy nude is the right angles. Those are the angles that you... Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely a no for sending any type of nudes. <laughs> exactly, and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then also, before we leave them being on Ellen, Fred said he dated a 40-year-old woman. Yeah, I saw that. He said that. So are you interested? No, absolutely not. I'm going to stay in my lane. He's cute, though. So no, you would say no to Fred. That would be a resounding no. Mm, okay. Was it because you have like children that are older than him? Exactly. Probably so. What I'm gonna do? What am I gonna do? What we're we gonna do? Today? And then Rachel always bringing up the fact that Fred was a bad kid. I know, can't. but she could not let that go. But, like, but I understand. But I understand that. I really do understand. That's that memory that you can't you you can't get rid of that memory. When when she's looking at him, she's thinking, Oh my God, no. Okay, wait. Oh, okay, no. No. I think no. He, I'm the type of person like let bygones be got bygones unless he like Girl. physically hurt her. No. He's trying to date her to exactly. marry so her. Why does no. it matter? It does matter because that's that he's this young little kid in her mind that was so bad and she's a counselor. Like, how am I going to forget Hard that? Hard eye roll. She needed to but let feel, no. But guess what? I feel sorry Rachel, for everybody was low-key mad at you last night because you played dude hecka dirty. Yeah. We're going to get there, but okay. you played him just a little bit dirty. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, so, you saw that she had that private moment with Alex and they mm -hmm. kissed. I thought that kiss was just a little bit weird. Like, he actually wasn't that into it. What do we think? He wasn't. 
He really wasn't. I don't think so. I don't really think he likes her that much. Mm -hmm. I just think he's kind of like playing it low key in the middle. Like he's playing it where he kind of seems like he likes her, but he kind of looks like he might try to be like the next Bachelor or be on right. Bachelor in Paradise. Exactly. Yeah, I think that it's it could be. I want to be on TV and I want to be famous. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot Alex of them is have. Cute. He's yeah, got that but, um, that you know that Russian edge, but mm -hmm. I don't really know if it's for real for Rachel. I don't think it is. I I don't believe it. Let the truth prevail. All right, we're going to talk about it. Fred. I felt so sorry for Because it was Fred. like we were going, and the moment seemed actually like it could be good, and maybe Rachel let it go, but... No, I wasn't. Now, what? I, I wasn't maybe. there. I, yeah. thought, I, thought I wasn't was there. there. I felt bad because I knew he was genuine. He he was real. And and it just yeah, it sure. was so sad Absolutely. because you could just tell it he was hurting for real. Because but it like started off it was like great like I set the scene up like maybe she's gotten over yeah, for it. For a minute I thought for that. For a second right before yeah. he asked awkwardly for the yeah. kiss. I did think that the way he did it was just a little bit weird but then also I don't really care if somebody asks for a kiss because sometimes that that is kind of polite. You know, I'm the person depending on who it is like if you ask me I'm not going to be like mm, no that's weird but you know, I guess girls do like it when you take initiative more than you ask it. I did not like the way she did the whole thing. So the whole setup. Yeah, I, I thought it could have been way different from that because she know how she knew how he felt. Mm -hmm. He you said he's been waiting it. to kiss I mean, her for 20 years. Exactly. We're sitting here watching. We could see the feelings. She's there. I just felt like the way it was done. I felt so bad for and him. And then... He kissed her. He was like, "Woo! This is so great. I feel awesome. I finally did it." And I was like, "Yes, I'm here for you, Fred. Awesome." Yeah, no. And then she came back with rose in hand. Yeah. But that was dirty. Me. Oh, that's what that I'm was, saying. That was that's dirty. what everybody, that was Rachel. Dirty. That's where everybody got a little peeved off. I had people yeah. tweeting me yeah. upset about that yeah. because she came in with rose in hand, dirty, pulled him that aside, set it up like. What did I say? When I saw, I said, oh my God, is she giving him the rose? I know. You said, yes, I'm here for this. Da, 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 da. I was like, oh, wait, wait for it. What is she doing? And then the ball dropped. dropped. She said, you got to like, you got to go home. Like, oh Fred could not break so free sorry. of the past, friend zone, all of it. He was like, Stop. and I was, I was literally saying, don't cry. Do he was, not he was going to cry. Gonna I know he was. That's what I was telling him not to do not cry. Don't cry because that was that was a bad sign. Was I felt bad for Fred. Awkward, oh, sad, God. unfortunate, mean. It was very mean and deliberate. Oh, very. You she very pointed. It pointed. It was very pointed. She should have set it up good for oh boy, like she set it up for Fred. Oh, you're talking about for yes. uh, Lucas or yeah, Lucas? all of them. Uh, Demario oh. Lucas, like all of them. So yeah, we weren't really happy with um, the way things turned out for Fred. Not saying that I didn't think Fred was ever going to win, but there was yeah. such a more eloquent way she could have gone I about. So. Yeah, because I, I never knew, I, I didn't think for one minute that he was going to go toward the end end. But I just, no. I, I thought it was going to be a more, you know. Sweeter. Yeah, well, subtler. he could have left, even though he, he would have been hurt, it wouldn't have been like that. Because she, she played. It was almost like, think about it, a get back. Ooh, yeah. for being a bad yes, kid. Yes, for being a bad kid and giving her the blues. Like, oh, got you. Wait for it. Oof, I don't like that. That's but that's thought. how it, listen, look what she did. That was hurtful. Like, right. I couldn't have done that. Okay, so moving forward, let's talk about the single date that she had with Anthony. First of all, we were both like, at first, who was Anthony? Not Ready saying anything right. against him. No. I was just very confused and don't remember him from the first or second episode at all. Right. So I was like, Anthony who? But he's very attractive, really like his bald head, seemed like a really nice guy. The date, though, them being on Rodeo Drive with the horses, what do we think? Oh, that was totally stupid staged. yeah i mean yes it was, it was yeah, but i'm saying it was somebody's unbrilliant ideal somebody I, said that abc is running out of date ideas they are that was so crazy and then the fact of like you going to these stores being like hey so we're gonna have rachel come in here with a date is that okay if we bring on a horses? horse 
I'd be like, absolutely not. not. You are not bringing a horse in my store and you saw the horse pooped yeah. and kicked it. <laughs> that was disgusting. Mm. The horse pooped and kicked it and I was like, yuck. But I don't know. I thought the date was okay. It was like, just okay to me. Didn't I say that I thought it was really boring? Yeah, it was. There was no sparks. I was just getting ready. You said it. I didn't. Yeah. There were no sparks. There was no. Granted, I think both of them had a really great, lovely, awesome time. But it was I one of those like think average it was bad. days. I don't even. I couldn't even see the great time in it. <laughs> I thought they at least. No, had fun. I mean they. They went. It was a date. Like I didn't see anything out of that. And then how did you feel about them getting the sprinkle horse cupcakes? Now, that was so cool because those things are so good. She's had the cupcakes They're before. They're so good. Yes. So I thought that was cool. That that was the highlight. <laughs> Just that, saying. Ooh, shade boots? Yes. Shady boots. That was the highlight of the day. Cupcakes. Yes. Rachel needs a glass of wine always. Oh my God, Rach. Tone it down a notch. Like one every other day. No. Like, Rachel's like, no, free Ray. alcohol, give it to me. I mean, know. I mean, low key, that's how I would be too. No, then you can't think and you're glazed over. You know that old saying? Well, we're going to say everybody looks like Denzel. <laughs> what? On wine. Yeah. Like they used to say, oh, Mer she looked just like Halle Berry because they're drunk. And what you're seeing is not real. Yeah. You want to be very aware. Okay. I think she just needs to tone it down a little bit because she's glazed over and she's kind of, and, and then she gets a little, you can see her. Kinda, yes. I don't yeah. like it. I don't like it. I want her to be really on point at all times. I do. I feel you. Oh, oh lastly, before we move on from this date, when they were dancing and he kissed her and shoved his whole hand and a oh, whole track. My he God. went underneath the weave and oh, just went. Grabbed it. I don't know how I felt. Would feel about that? Like you shut up. Whoa! Don't don't put your hand up in the weave. You know what they say about black girls? What? You know you can't touch their hair because but some of, the of them. Weave. Yeah, some of them don't care. But me personally, I would be like, whoa! Don't even grab. Don't like if you're a guy trying to kiss me. Don't even grab my hair at all. The safe zone is like. Here, keep it like here. Hips, boobs. Oh, <laughs> I, you're playing. You're playing. No. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, but yeah, don't don't touch my hair. Yeah. Solange. He he grabbed that really good. He palmed it, cuffed it. <laughs> like what is he doing? Like, he seemed like a hair. great guy though. Like, but I don't yeah. really see a future for them. No, it's boring. Ooh, Eric going a bit too hard when they had that he had that argument with Iggy and I think the argument stemmed from the fact that Iggy thought that Eric was saying that he didn't really know mm -hmm. if Rachel something about Rachel not really being here for him but really I don't really think that's what Eric meant in the situation I just think he was saying that he was just very unsure of his placement in the house in general I, I agree I and agree. everybody I just agree. jumped down his throat and yeah. started saying he was aggressive and I'm like no, he's just, you know, it's a heated argument. People are going to be get loud. I don't he know. was feeling some kind of way and they took it and ran with it. Yeah, this is also trickling down into the next episode that's going to be happening. Mm -hmm. Lee, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not going to say that I think Lee is racist, but when you use words to describe a black male exactly. as aggressive, aggressive. Uh, it, no. don't, it doesn't have really good connotations with no. it. So... That whole situation, I kind of was team Eric because, like, I felt like they were ganging up on him. They were ganging up on him, man. And I'm they like, were upset because he had a voice and he wanted to talk back. Would you think he was just going to be meek and not say yeah, anything? Yeah, just sit back. Right. After all, everyone is going after Rachel. Competition. I am not. Thank you. I am not going to be your this best bud. Um, <laughs> this is not RuPaul's best bud. It's not. <laughs> It is not. That's what they keep forgetting. I was glad he stood up for himself. Oh, I was sweet. really glad because I'm like, what? Oh, and then the running back? No, stop wasting your time talking about some other guy. 
talk about yeah. yourself. A and lot me. of people yeah. were saying that on Twitter too. Stop. Like this is the most like clicky Ugh. and like gossipy like, season. Yes. Like uh, you're not females. Like this is not how males typically are supposed to be acting. But like this might be a new wave. In I don't know. I'm gonna males. pray for you, young people. I'm gonna pray for you, us youngins. Yes, because that that right there was a. Clown they are show. really gossipy. Yeah, that was a clown way show. more gossipy than the last season. Yeah. Um, so we can talk about um, the next group date when the girls came back in town. A lot of people were saying that Ooh. they just they don't think that those are Rachel's best friends. They're because, not because oh she just met God. them last season. They, they keep bringing them back like these are Rachel's girls. The girls are back in town. And I'm no, like, uh, no. Do they even hang out outside of no. filming? I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. I don't follow Rachel on social media. So tell me if they are like clicked up at the hip but the way the show is playing it and even if they are i think they all have an agenda i don't think they are well, her i think two of besties. them i think corinne and raven are going to be in bachelor in paradise so they're probably trying to get some little bit of exposure a little bit okay. but corinne didn't even say anything on this episode are we shocked are we amazed because corinne always got something to say she's crazy but not on this episode um, I thought it was really funny when they had the guys dancing on the pole and we found out that Kenny was a ex oh, you could look Chip and Dale. Dale. I was like, what? I was, I was like, okay, Kenny. What is he doing? Giving us that body roll. Like, he would have made a lot of money if he would have went on yeah. the And remember he said, um, no, not the pole though. But you were working it like a pro. He, he was working He knew it. his way around that pole. He did. Oh, yeah. And then, also too, I don't really know if you noticed, Raven was the one that talked to Bryce, and he was saying that he thought Eric wasn't here for, for yeah, yeah. Did you notice that her foundation was like really wonky? Yeah. It was like that was the wine. I know sometimes <laughs> the wine. So you think Raven? No, Raven was oh the girl, friend. Right, the friend on the end. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Her foundation looked yellow, well, and then her her body didn't look right. Did she did. I, I'm not trying to be shady. I just I don't think it's a no. Oh, so you say if they're not yeah. significant yeah. that they don't yeah. get they makeup time? Right, right, right. So I'm just saying. Mm, maybe. Yeah. But the whole mud wrestling date was just gross. I'm that just was say nasty. That. I, I don't find anything I attractive it about it. Or funny. No, and the girls, that's what they it thought. It was too rough for me. That's what they thought about their friend to set that up? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how you would feel if your friends did that. Okay. <laughs> would you have even stayed? No. Because really, if you were my friend, you would know that this is not what's happening. And guess what? Guess no. who had a glass of wine? <laughs> I'm not shady. I promise I'm not shady. But she was towed back a little bit already on that date, too. Well, you know what? She probably had to be. To deal with that deal with it. That, Yeah, that was insane. That, yeah. yeah. No, that the was fighting not was cute. too much. And then I also thought that they should not have let Kenny do that. Granted, he didn't win, but like he's a professional wrestler. Right. He could have hurt somebody. Yeah. Then what? Now my neck is <laughs> broke. <laughs> no, full of yeah. just. No. Well, they can't sue him because they, I think they signed the they disclosure have to, and yeah, liability I'm sure, form. I'm sure, so yeah. it kind of would have been an is what it is kind of deal if Kenny would have broke somebody's mm -hmm. back. I just thought it was kind of unfair the way Bryce and Lee were kind of ganging up on Eric because I feel like they're doing it because they feel threatened by Eric because they, they know that Rachel kind of is feeling him. Yeah. And He's she cute. said it from mm -hmm. the final rose. You probably, you didn't see that, but mm -hmm. I saw it. Mm -hmm. She's been feeling him since he came out then when they kind of like previewed the guys. Oh, okay. So she's interested in him and I feel like the guys are nervous. They're a little bit scared about mm -hmm. it. So As they should be. It's a competition. Like, I feel like they genuinely keep forgetting. Like, they're like, oh, I'm here with my bros. I'm having yeah, a good no, time. Uh, no, you're here trying to actively find a, like, see if Rachel could be your wife. Right. Like, this is serious business, not, like, joking. No. So that's why I don't understand when all these guys get crazy and drunk and lushed out. And I'm like, are you here for just. No, that's a turn off, too. Cherries and giggles. And see, she would know that if she kind of toned the wine drinking down a little bit. People are going to comment and be like, you guys talk so much crap about Rachel. No, I really wine. like Rachel and I'm so glad I that I Rachel, Rachel, really. I and know. I'm so glad she's on that show. But I want her to be more focused because this is real for her. I want her to be more focused. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, and then, so when Eric and Rachel had their moment together, I thought that was really great because you could see that they actually had like a little bit of chemistry they and connection. Did. But, 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 you know that I'm the word police and he said, I know. What did he say? Vulnerable? Vulnerable? Yeah. He had a cocktail. He did not say, he meant to say vulnerable, but it, he said, you know, girl, I'm just really vulnerable. Listen, he had a cocktail as well. Give him a pass. And then he looked like he was trying to be like some movie director because he had that <laughs> scarf around his neck. I was like, why Why do we have the scarf? What I think he mean? was nervous and he didn't know what to do. I, he just threw that on for good measures. I don't know. It didn't look like anything that he, he would do on a norm. When you get nervous, you it get weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and once again, Lee's trying to gang up on Eric because what? He's afraid of the competition. And I don't even want to waste our breath on Lee because I don't like him. He's ugly. He's probably really not a singer-songwriter. Like, <laughs> at me if I'm wrong, but let, show me his credentials because I've never heard you any. You want to see the receipts. Just saying. <laughs> and I'm not being shady. I'm being a lady. So there's that. Rachel just had him all shook when she gave Eric the rose, which I should have. I, I thought he deserved it. I did too. Because I thought they, they, had, they had a moment and it was a good moment. I I, I think he should have got it. And all the guys were like, Rachel, you need to take that rose back. Yeah. Um, telling her, trying to give her like tea that isn't even tea. Why? And then when Lee was trying to like tell him that like, I think you're such a good person, but you're like not ready for this. Whose daddy are you? You're not Eric's daddy. He don't need no lesson in love from me. Thank you. Thank you. It's a competition. Stay in your lane and work on your game. Oh, that rhymed. Yes. <laughs> Please, like, or go, get, go, bye-bye. Yeah, I just feel like they don't want Eric to have an opinion. They don't want him to have an opinion. They don't want him to talk to Rachel. They just don't want nothing from Eric, and they just, I don't know. And what I wrote... Two is that I just feel like it's kind of wrapped up in kind of like a hidden racism kind of type deal. That's what you're feeling? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Explain that. The reason why Eric, I mean, the reason why Lee doesn't really want Eric to talk to her is because he's racist probably against black men. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But not women. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that's how some white guys are. Really? Mm-hmm. They want, they want a bad witch. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, don't even get me started. I'm not even going to fool with that. What's the next question? That was it. That's okay, the whole yay. episode. Okay. So, so, I mean, we're going to see that. Yeah. When he, um, I think he was talking to Kenny, maybe. Mm. When he said that. I'm going to make sure. It was either Kenny or Will. To... When he was saying, it was Will who said, like, you know, the connotations that come mm -hmm. behind when you say someone is being, a yeah. black man is being aggressive. So, that's where my thing saying okay. maybe there's some hidden racism wrapped up into Well, we, in we're going to find out. We're so definitely going to find week. out. And I will not be playing my casino games. I'm going to pay more attention so I can You heard it see. first, guys. If it's there, I'm going to receive it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you enjoyed our commentary on this episode. Let me know what you thought of Monday night's episode down in the comments. You can tweet me. As always, you can follow me at Marky Mayhem on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. You could also follow... April here on her Instagram and it is what's your Instagram hair biz so I'm just gonna like put that probably down here somewhere so you can follow her too because she's got the looks and the books and the hooks <laughs> there we go so anyways hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow bye, bye guys, guys.